I'm in that chat 1K. I'm in the apartment with Pale. Yeah. Hey, Pale. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, we live from Digi House Studio. And this your boy Pale. And we in the apartment with Pale. Meet me in the apartments. Hey, I love my city. The A. Only thing I love more than my city is the west side of my city. Shout out to Bankhead. Long live Swall. Rest easy. Shout out low. Rest easy. We fly. AKA Buddy. Listen, man. The city of Atlanta is really popping. Like, I didn't really think that when Dre, when 3K said the South got something to say, that we were really going to have this much to say for real, for real. Because we's talking it, we popping it, and right now we the city. And, and like, I, I don't feel like, I feel like you can't really be from here, have some motion, and not make it. Unless you're just a fuck nigga. That's it. Now, the road for the real ones is going to be a little harder. It's always harder for the real ones. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't gonna we ain't gonna kiss ass and we ain't gonna act like we like people too much and all that shit right there. We're gonna keep it playing, we're gonna keep it cordial. You fuck with me, I'm fucking with you. You do good bid on me, I do good bid with you. you. You tell me you're gonna do something, stand on it. I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna stand on it. That's how you're gonna do it. So our path gonna be a little harder because the industry ain't made of real niggas. So if you're a real nigga, if you call yourself a real nigga or a street nigga or a gangster, or whatever, and you're trying to be an artist, a rapper, if you don't know how to deal with fuck niggas, this might, might, this might not be the game for you. <laughs> if you don't know how to see your op in the club and got there start, and you don't know how to start getting all jittery and walking around and doing all that country shit, this ain't going to be the game for you. The reason I'm telling you this, it's going to be niggas that you don't like. They're going to be the motherfucking key holders to the door that your ass trying to get in. And if you want to be successful and get to this motherfucking door, you're going to have to act like that you like these motherfucking niggas. If you can't do that right there, this won't be the fucking game for you. So it's all my real niggas. Stay down. Stay real. Stay doing what you're doing. Stay standing on what you're standing on. And even if you don't reach this, the level of success that you feel like that you want to reach or you, uh, you were shooting to reach for, it's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do what you're supposed to, you're going to reach the ears of the people that you're supposed to touch. And that's the really shit that you could do using your motherfucking voice. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, my next guest is a person from that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I done seen homie move around and do a lot of shit on a quiet, on a quiet tip. But one thing about the quiet tip, you don't got to hear a lot about a nigga to see that nigga got some shit popping. A nigga got some motion going on. And it, ain't, it ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? And throughout all this shit, every time I'm see, you know, when you see artists that, 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 when you see artists that you ain't never seen before, especially from your city and you, ain't, you don't know them before the music, you always critique everything they do. Let me see how shot the dress. Let me see what he got that drip on. Let me see what his video looking like. Let me see what he talk about in his music. Bro, I seen this nigga drop video after video after video after video after video. And all the motherfuckers like big boy quality video. I'm like, oh no, I don't take your motherfucking shit dead ass serious. And I, then I met somebody, they said something about I'm like, oh no, they were like, oh no, I shot a fisher. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about real niggas, when you know a nigga, a real, real, a real nigga for real, and you get word from other niggas, you always look at that nigga different and you you be like, okay, you pay attention a little more. You know what I'm saying? So ever since I heard that, and this is a few years ago, I've been paying really, real close attention to homie. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a shout out to my next guest, Champ 1K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Champ 1K, man. Appreciate you having me, my boy. Man, I appreciate you coming, dog. For sure, man. For sure. You know what man. I'm saying? We supposed to got done do this shit last time. I got done my blood pressure had went up on there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I ain't going to count. Like, I've been waiting on it, bro. I ain't going to lie, though. Like, I've been waiting on it for a minute because, like, I always be telling my folks, like, you one of the first folks I've been, like, listening to, like, since I was a little boy for real, though. Like, Respect. been looking up to you for a minute, like, and, like, just on some street shit, too. Like, I'm from the east side, but, like, being knowing, like, what's so, like, probably, like, when my boy, you feel me? Like, been listening to this nigga, like, you feel me? So, like. That respect. I've been tuned in with you, you feel me? No, no, that respect, that respect. Oh, let me ask you this. Okay, so everybody know 1K mean 1,000. Tell me what, how did the 1K come about? Honestly, like, <clears throat> I always tell for, like, my name really just came from, like, the 1K part came from some Instagram shit, some social media shit. Like, like I just couldn't put champ, cause, like, on Instagram, because, like, that shit was too. And this shit started, like, years ago, you feel me? Like, 
and social media and Twitter, all that shit for pop. But like, I mean, like one K was the first thing I thought of, cause like I always just looked at myself like as a real nigga, like solid nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like stand up nigga. Even back then, like I made this shit. Like I made it in my name when I was like 19. You know what I'm saying? I'm 30 right now. You feel me? Like I made this shit when I was like 19. Even back then, like when I was a young nigga, I always just felt like. I was a solid nigga, stand up nigga, like, and, and that just a thousand to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck, keep that shit one hundred, keep that shit a thousand. Yeah, straight up. So like, how did how did how did your name Champ come about? Like, honestly, like that shit just came about like, like on some jail shit. Like, I don't did a lot of time and shit. Like, so I I started getting locked up when I was like younger. You feel me? So like, like my name, my real name is like Nate. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been locked up like, so like, nigga, like get a nickname in jail. So like. My shit, I just came up with Chunk, like, I always just felt like I always just been down bad, so, like, I always wanted to win type shit, so, like, at my name, like, Chunk, like, I made myself win, like, on some real nigga shit, like, I be getting shit, throw it at me left and right, bro, on some real nigga shit, like, and, like, my that my name, Chunk, like, I come up out that shit every time, like, I don't care what it is. Well, like, no, no matter what the circumstances, I'm going to win. Yeah, like, nigga know me, like, if a nigga, know, like, nigga, like, looking at this shit know me, like, nigga know, like, I don't know. It don't matter what I don't been through. Like I come out that shit on top. Like not just regular on top, but like standing on top. Like with your hands up. Like yeah, almost yeah, humble. Like, like, humming, he humming, shit. Shit. like he want nothing. You feel me? Like that just me though. Like and it, I ain't saying this shit easy or nothing. You feel me? Cause like my name Chunk. Like I ain't nothing like easy about being like like winning and shit or like trying to win. But like that just what I'm gonna try to do every time though. That what I'm gonna do. You feel me? Fuck that trying shit. That what that what I'm gonna do. You feel me? Yeah, you talking about? So your mean? So your name mean? Goddamn nigga, I'm gonna win and keep this shit a thousand. I'm gonna keep this shit a thousand. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna keep going. Like no matter what. Like I don't care what I'm doing. Like rapping. What I'm doing? The podcast. What? Like it gonna be the hardest podcast ever. Like whatever yeah, you I talking do. About? Shit, yeah, whatever. Like you, you gonna go up, like, nigga. We gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Like I'm gonna be hard. I'm gonna be the harder with that shit. I'm gonna stand on that shit. You feel me? Like. That just me. Everything I do, like I'ma stand on that shit. Then I'm on the hardest at it. Like I'm a competitive nigga. You feel me? Like ain't no cocky shit. Nothing. Just like I'm sure of myself. You feel me? Like that just what it is. Nah, for real, for real. Now, let's do this. What I like to do on the motherfucker. I always like to go back. And I always like like my viewers and my listeners get to know the person who who sent here. For the ones that know you, for the ones that don't know you, for the ones who may know you. It's always something about you that somebody don't know. Some information that one party, us, everybody don't know about you. So, and I feel like when people understand who you are, they understand your why. So, anytime you saying some shit and you saying how you is, it under like it's, it's like when you know your homie, you know he been through, he he got down he got down shit. He been been through with girls all the time. He he don't trust bitches. You talk about a girl want to do it, you going to be like, boy, y'all ain't fuck with that shit. Yeah. Because you already know what type of home that is. And it, and music is the same way. So when people can identify you as a person, it's easier for them to be acceptable of what you say in your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let's start all the way back to, you know what I'm saying? Know you from the city, from the eight, east side. Let's tell everybody where you, what side, um, where you grew up at, part of the east side. So, like, man, I grew up in, like, um, like on Boulder Crest, uh, East Atlanta, on the east side. I done went to a few high schools, like, far as, like, Cedar Grove, like, went to Lithonia, Miller Grove, got kicked out a few times, like, I even, like, bounced around from, from, like, the Cal County to Putnam County, like, some shit in the country, like, just back and forth, you feel me, like, between my mom and my daddy type shit, you feel me, so, like, just, like, bounce around all through them motherfucker, like, all through the east side, pretty much, you feel me, like, um, Shit, anywhere, anywhere you can name, you feel me? Like anywhere on the east side, like you feel me? Like, like the regular Atlanta yeah, nigga. Yeah, that regular Atlanta nigga. The regular Atlanta like, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like just been bounced around pretty much. But like, I pretty much remember my, like most of my childhood, like pretty much like where I just learned a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting for me with like, you know what I'm saying? Getting for me with like emotions and feelings and shit, and like getting tuned with like cross and loyalty and shit. Like when I stay, like you know what I'm saying? Like um, Ellenwood. Type shit like over What you learn from over there? Oh, yeah, <clears throat> cause I already know. Now I'm gonna tell you, put some clarif clarification on it, cause I say this shit all the time. And this way for I'm already did that goddamn song. I always say that niggas from Atlanta are never gonna tell you what side of town they from. They're gonna tell you exactly where they from. Oh yeah, they gonna put clarification on that yeah, shit. Yeah. My dog said, "Now I stand in East Atlanta. Nigga, I grew up on Border Crest, East Atlanta. Yeah, and I be trying to tell people it's even though all this shit like now Atlanta really got big. It done grew some." But it's a difference between them. 
East Atlanta on Boulder Crest, you go with two, three exits, go to 675 in Ellenwood, that shit totally different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit two, three miles away. What was the difference when you what what did you okay, let's start here. What did you learn from East Atlanta that you kind of that you picked up on as a youngin? I mean, like, Jack going to school, like, I went to City Grove Middle and shit, and like, um, just like experiencing like different type of people there, you know what I'm saying? Cause I came there from like a whole nother school, you feel me? So like just experiencing like different type of people, like I was like the Gresham Road niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like them niggas were like on that, you feel me? Like them niggas with that time 10, you feel me? Like, like I remember that, you feel me? Like got down the Ellenwood nigga, like them niggas were more, like, more so like some player cool type nigga, but like I can't say like they weren't on that, them niggas was still on that though. Like they just what I don't remember like, like I said, like from back then, like listening to your music, like from back then, like I just remember like listening to your shit and going to school, like and experiencing this shit, like oh these the type of nigga that got down, they do this and these type of nigga that do, do that. that. Cause, like yeah. honestly, back then, like shit, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, like I wasn't on no street nigga shit, like I was on some school nigga shit, like on some who kid, on some kid shit, like Man, I mean, listen, you feel like <laughs> it's 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 hard. To be a street nigga at nine. Yeah, <laughs> I like, up in, you ain't but you know no what? I, look, that crazy said that. Like, I remember that shit you say. Like, I got more nines in fourth grade. Like, 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 what are you talking about? like I remember that Facts. shit. Like the back, I, I, I remember that shit. But then, like, bro, like, who can be a street nigga back then? So, like, but some nigga just really be slumped out. But like, he ain't got no choice if you slumped out or, or brought up a certain way or not. You feel me? Like, how a nigga turn out? That how they turn out though. You feel me? Like. I feel like that when you like preteen, you get a chance to see different things and experience different things, all depending on the environment you stay in. All depending on the environment you stay in, depend on the things that you pick up. The thing that you see is gonna do one or two things. It's gonna say, I ain't fucking with that shit. Or <laughs> I'm fucking with that shit. <laughs> one or the other. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and everybody have a have a liking or interest in certain different shit. You see what I'm saying? That's why some niggas be fuck with car thief niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who break in cars and steal cars and shit. Some niggas have dope boys. Yeah. Some niggas they just sell weed. Some niggas just panhandling. Some niggas just gamble. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas just straight out thieves. Like you you got you got different type of niggas. And when you get a chance to see this, you, you, your mind be like, okay, I see that. Then when you turn a teenager, then you start experimenting with this shit. Like, okay, let me see. I've been saying, I've been saying, my mama smoked goddamn when I was seven years old. Let me see what this shit talking about. You see what I'm saying? Because you're trying to smoke because of the shit that you're seeing. You see what I'm saying? When you move out to Ellenwood, what kind of thing that you're picking up that you added on to your repertoire? What do you mean, like move like out from where? Like when you when you say when you say you move, you say when I move, you say when I move to Ellenwood, I had to start learning different things. Where you move? Okay, so you went from East Atlanta, you went to Ellenwood. So just like, like I said, like I just learned like different shit for I like, like. Different type of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like you got like the nigga that did have like parents that like I don't want to say spoiled them, but like just did good parents. Just did more for me than like my parents. You feel yeah. me? Like type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like shit that I noticed mm -hmm. that I that I ain't get. Even though like even if I did stay in Ellenwood, like shit, my mama ain't doing that right there. My dad ain't doing that. Like oh, you got it, a chance to, to see the good side. Yeah, got the good then, families. Yeah, like and like it crazy. Like I'm big on family, but like. I ain't got no big family, but like that just that's like I'm big on family because I ain't got no big family. Like that's something I want. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. that's something, so that's something I value and shit. So like growing up, I see see that shit. Like see some niggas around me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like get certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like have folks around them and shit. Like certain holidays and shit. Like had it, all they family pull up at one time. I'm just looking like. Shit, my shit cool, but like that shit cool in hell too. Yeah, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, when yeah. I get old, I want some shit like that. You feel me? Like. So like that's just some shit I always like. I ain't gonna say like, like envy, but like that's something I always wanted, and that's something I always acknowledge. Though as a little boy, though, I ain't gonna flip like, like from over here to over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I said, like I came from like Putnam County, like the country. You feel me? Like probably like I don't want to say like second grade. I came to Atlanta, like you know what I'm saying? Like tight shit. Like came from down there. And it like small town, like same shit. It just on a, it's a. It's, in, it's on the smaller scale to like 
what going on in the city, but like shit just happen way faster. Cause it's small. You know what I'm saying like Word whatever fast going shit on, happen. like so whatever can happen in like a, a, a big ass city having a small town, like even faster. You know what I'm saying? Like so it's just like niggas experience shit like certain shit like and just know about certain shit. When I like when I got out here, like I just got way more in tune. Like you know what I'm saying with certain shit. Nah, for real, for real. You say you got down. You got to start getting put out in the trouble. Start getting put out to L school. What 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 uh, grade was you in when you first got put out? Your first time getting put out? I want to say like I was in tenth grade. Tenth grade, I want to say. Where you was at? What school you going to? Uh, I was down there in the country. Like mm-hmm. I, was, I was on one and one of them back and forth. Shit, like, I had to be back and forth between my mom and daddy. So like I might be with my mom in Atlanta for like a few months, be with my daddy in Atlanta, uh, down in the country for like a few months. So I was down. There. I, she had don't sent me back to my daddy. And I got put out there. <laughs> like, yeah, I did. If you don't mind speaking, you get put out there. Throwing shit at a teacher. Like, just, what happened? Just playing, like, I'm just on some, I'm just in the classroom, just being on some bullshit, just flicking shit at the teacher, like, on some bullshit, like, and, like, it was a, you know what I'm saying, white lady, she kind of, like, made a big deal, like, I sold to her and shit, but, like, I was just, like, flicking a little piece of paper at her, like, just on yeah. some dumb ass shit, like, on some little nigga hey, shit. Hey, put like, your ass out behind that shit. Put my ass out, put my turn to school, like, I was like, damn, like, Shit, when I turned to school, like crazy. I went I turned to school. I really had like caught like caught up and went past like a regular junior and senior. Cause like you can't take no electives and shit. And I turned to school was like I was taking straight court class. So like by the time I got back to public school, like in London, like my I, I ain't had shit to do. You feel me? Like I was just in school, like in the twelfth grade, like with no classes for real. Cause I don't took all my shit in I turned to school. So like it worked out for me, kind of, but I ended up getting kicked out of kicked out of <laughs> school again because I had nothing to do. Shit. So when you come back up here, what school you go to? Latonia. Latonia. Miller Grove Latonia. All right. So, okay, boom. You ain't got shit to do. How the fuck you end up getting kicked out of this bitch? Got down. <laughs> Breaking in got down lockers. Goddamn. What you trying to get? You trying to hit for something? Anything. <laughs> I'm trying to hit for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like, I thought it was all like, bro, I know these folks. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I'm looking at it. Like, I know yeah, these that. folks. Mm-hmm. Like, anything, bro. Like, cell phone, little small ass, no kids yeah. back then. It's like, oh, nine. Like, <laughs> I'm looking for anything, bro. Like, money, lunch money. I don't give a fuck what it is. Like, gremlin. <laughs> gremlin. Hey, you talking about? How the hell they catch you? Like, um, camera. Like, they were a nigga first find out about camera for real. Like, I get on, um, like, I had on winning some winning some shit. I went out with my boy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like with my boy, we went in, grabbed some shit. He was like a sophomore or some freshman, so like he still had class. I ain't had no more classes, so I ended up going in, grabbing all these niggas shit, and just still walking around the hallway. You know what I'm saying? So like. I get like they end up running the camera back because the nigga had, like, you know what I'm saying? These niggas saying they, they just lock apart and shit. So they like, oh yeah, mama shit took or whatever. Woo, woo, but like, <coughs> oh, end up running the camera back and shit. So they see me, like, probably like the last nigga, like, come on, coming up out that motherfucker type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? They go to my locker and shit. Somebody tell me, like, I'm in the cafeteria. Somebody tell me, like, shit, shit, the police, the teachers and shit, they buy your locker and shit. I'm like, <laughs> like shit. I ain't even triple cold like shit. I ain't even got them. I don't sold all the shit. <laughs> hey, talk about that shit big on. <laughs> that shit, I'm like, bro, I don't got this shit all cell phone and everything. I'm, like, I'm straight, like, whatever. Like, but I got little weed and shit on me like that. So, like, boom, like, so um, I'm in the cafeteria and shit. So, like, I really ain't tripping, like, because I ain't thinking they finna go that far for real. Like, so, like, boom, these folk pull up on me, like, hey, come, come with us. You know what I'm saying? They got the dog and everything. I'm like, damn. <laughs> folk come grab your shit, tape it to the principal office and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? They like, yeah, you finna go to jail. I'm 17. This when I just figured out, like, you 17, you an adult in Georgia. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, I'm doing this shit at school. This shit, it's a feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to go to jail. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, these folks, I'm like, yeah, they certain me and shit. I probably had, like, I probably had, like, 1200 on me. Like, and back then, like, I ain't gonna lie, that was a lot of money for, like, a young nigga to be yeah, having yeah. at school. So, like, fuck you doing? Like, I got dice on me, weed, you know what I'm saying? Scale. They like, Fuck you doing? So like I had like I ain't gonna count like I had like a little pocket knife on me and shit. Them folks locked me up for possession of uh of a weapon on school ground, felony. 
So when you look at that, like I got a strap on school ground, so mm-hmm. like mm, tight shit. So that like, that shit always fucked with me. But like anyway though, so like them folk lock me up for that shit right there. Take me out of school. That shit keep me out of school though. You feel me? Like I get kid out of school for that shit. You feel me? But I already got all my credits and shit from alternative school, like I was telling you. So like I pretty much got my diploma, but I just couldn't walk. You feel me? Like they were like, shit, you out of school, you done, you just come get your diploma like in June. You feel me? Like everybody walking made like don't come to no events, don't come to no prom, don't come to nothing. Like, just come get your shit in June, that's it. You feel me? So, like, I picked up my diploma. Like, I could say I graduated high school, you feel me? But, like, I got kicked out like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to Damn. Me. So, basically, you went to alternative school, 10th grade. In one year, you skipped two grades. Yeah. Went to school and had shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> had shit to do. Now, got caught on motherfucking count. They don't put your ass out until June. Yeah. Now, what the hell is you at the house doing? Shit, like. I, I like back then. I ain't gonna lie. Like I was one of them niggas. Like trying to sell weed. Like just I'm on the block now. Is it? Sell Did my weed, invitation. Kicking dough. Like that's what I was doing. Like, I was one of them selling weed, kicking dough. Like doing whatever I could do. Like and nigga, like getting what I can get. Selling that nigga. Like hustling. Like that's in my head. Like, hustling. Like that's what I was doing. Like so. Like doing that. Get locked up again. You feel me? Like same shit. You feel me? Like get locked up for stealing. You feel me? Like kicking dough. You feel me? Like. Same you want to do a good part of the time too, cause that east side nigga, some good hustling ass nigga. Yeah. Some good hustling ass niggas over there, boy. That ain't down there. <laughs> for real, boy. Some good niggas be on that shit over there. I ain't gonna oh, lie. No, for real, for real. No, for real, for real. You know, I I got I, I was born on the east. For real. You know what I'm saying? I moved to the west when I was like nine. You know what I'm saying? Who on the east side? Shit. I used to stay on Hass. All my people used to be in East like East Lake Meadows. I went to Hubert. I went to Whiteford. For real. Uh-huh. Oh, I ain't know oh, that. Oh, oh, the wife. <laughs> yeah, I used to have on Hazard Avenue. I stay right out by the four-way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My auntie used to run, uh, she used to run Mark Trail. You know what I'm saying? My grand, my, uh, my, my uh, auntie had a house right there on the corner of 2nd Ave. Uh, right there on 2nd Ave and, um, fuck the street. I did right there, go to Gresham. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, 2nd Ave, right there, right there, right there. Forget what name is down straight there now. You know, tip of my tongue. But yeah, when I but I moved to Bon like nine. So shit. I'm from the west side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, so hold on. Now, so hold on. Now, hold on now. So, so can't nobody just be like, nah, hell no, nah, you were born on the east side. So you yeah, from the east side. I'm like, born on the east side. But can't nobody just be like, you from the east side. No, can't nobody from the east side give you no poly story. I'm saying though, but so like, so what that be mean though with somebody? Cause like you see how that story I just told yeah. you, like, yeah. I'm gonna be like, Bro, you ain't from like, man, man, well, I got my stripes at. They yeah, don't give a fuck what a nigga say like. Nigga, what <laughs> like, niggas know you from the city. Yeah, like, so, so like, but you know how a nigga be yeah. like, man, hell no, nah, he ain't do this right here. And do, 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 like, you ain't want born here, do, 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 like, so you ain't from here, like, hi, right, man. Like, I ain't trying to. <laughs> when you, when you look, when you look, it, when you look, that shit don't matter for real, for yeah. real. It matters, but it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, you gonna, nigga, your mom gonna move every year. Yeah. Well, well, you tell, project. All right, well, tell me why it do matter then. You say it matter and it don't matter. Tell me why it do matter then. It matters for the ones who haven't even gained no stripes from these, from these <laughs> lands that they talk about. It don't about. matter then. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you ain't got no stripes, it don't matter then. You yeah, <laughs> yeah right. you know what I'm saying? So that's why when niggas say you ain't from here because you ain't, you ain't paying no way over here, nigga. You ain't, what you gonna do over here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them bitty niggas that don't be doing shit from where they from, though, like, them same niggas, nah, like. Yeah. Them be, them be the just niggas who just, now the niggas who say that just be the niggas who just been there and who never left. Yeah. That's why they feel a sense of entitlement. You know like what I'm saying? They own that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But see, it's, see to me, it's more of what you made your, what you made your stamp at, what you made your name at. You be from New York. Straight up. Nigga, you moved to this motherfucker when you two years old. Nigga, and you 30 now, nigga. nigga you from Atlanta. I know some nigga. You see know what I'm saying? You see know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. yeah, nigga, you was born in New York, nigga, but yeah. you from Atlanta, nigga. Because that's where everybody know you from. Can't nobody from New York give you, give me some story about this nigga when he was in middle school. They yeah. can't. He went there. Yeah. You see know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, you was in the city, nigga. Yeah. That's where you made your name at. That's where you from. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas who from this hood, but everybody know this nigga from this hood, and he hold this hood name. You see know what I'm saying? Cause that's what hood he got there. He got his strike set. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I agree, but you got like sixty-five percent of folk like who gonna be like, hell no, nah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I agree with exactly what you're saying, but like, 
You got folks who gonna be on that, like you feel me? It, it, everybody entitled to their own opinion. Nah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Everybody entitled to. What nigga? So when they gonna tell me I'm from the east side? I'm gonna parlay from the east side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Y'all yeah, stop playing my you know what I'm <laughs> Even though, nigga, all my family, dog, my whole family, is from the east side. Yeah, yeah. My whole family, bro. You know what I'm saying? Besides my, cousin, I got some cousins from from the Swats. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, nigga, because my mom was the first person moving from the east side over here. When they got the got the voucher, they told out E Lake Meadows. We got a voucher for Born Home. We moved to Born Home. You know what I'm saying? And shit, that's why I earned my strike set. You see what I'm saying? Shit, fuck that. Hell yeah, bankhead. Yeah. I'm gonna rip no, this for shit. Sure. I, nigga, I know that. Nah, for real, for real. Anybody that like. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that anybody know that. Like, but I, but I but that's but that's how I really understand a lot about the city, cause I really don't move around them motherfucker. So I really understand. I really know a lot of people. I really seen a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I know some niggas who from Riverdale, who was born in Riverdale, and who moved to motherfucking Atlanta when they was in high school. Mm. And so get what niggas say. But you know little Craig from Doug? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because they, they know Shawty from. So yeah. Shawty go get it. So he can leave Doug. He can go to Bankhead or he can go to MLK. And if he got there, go get a trap spot of MLK and, and run some apartments, get what nigga going to say, Craig from MLK. They ain't going to say Doug no more. Yeah. They going to say Shawty from MLK. Yeah. Even though he from Riverdale, but shit, nigga, gonna be like, nah, fuck that shit. Shout out from over there. <clears throat> nigga, you put down, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Like, nine, like the Night Ward. Nigga, ain't nothing for Night Ward, nigga, but we wrapped that shit. Yeah. Cause we turned that shit into a hood. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we wrapped nah, the hell out like this yeah, shit. Like, we wrapped 800, man. You, you feel know me? What I'm nigga, turn that motherfucker to a <laughs> we hood. We wrapped 800 block, man. For you real, know what man. Saying? Like, that shit is on three pit, bro. Like, we wrapped 800, bro. Like, Nah, for real. You feel me? <laughs> nah, see, they, and they, and they, and they what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's definitely what it is. When, uh, when did you get into music? Mm. Like, I got into it, like, far, like, seriously rapping. Far, like, I'd say, like, 2017. Like, I'd say, like, 2017. When did you get an interest in rapping? Probably, like, at a younger age, like, just, like, Really like no bullshit where you just no cap nigga listening to your ass. Like For real. That's <laughs> how <I am>. like, <laughs> nigga did no bullshit. This shit funny as hell. Like this shit no cap or like listening to like like them franchise boys all the way back there. Like that, that shit sound hard. Like you feel me? Like I wasn't back then, I just wasn't ever no confident ass little nigga though. You feel me? Like I ain't I wasn't ever just no charismatic ass person, you feel me? But like I always like shit like that shit hard. I think I can do that. Like, you feel me? Like, shit like that. Listen to Lil Wayne and shit all the way back then and shit. Man. Like, just listen to shit. Wayne made everybody want to rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't right. give a fuck who you are. <laughs> boy, you can't listen to Wayne. You can't listen to Wayne without trying to think you can rap, boy. Fuck I mean, that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. But what? What did they just say? Ooh, what's talking that motherfucker back over, boy? And they got that Wayne. And then, like, like, just like being like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I don't did, like, a lot of like time broken up, but like just being locked up and just like writing shit and just like rapping that shit and getting a little feedback from niggas and they're like, yeah, this shit hard, bro. Like just some jam, you know how that jam, jump off. You know jam, you be too that hard. Jump yeah, that shit be too hard. Yeah. Everybody be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but be, like, that's a jump off. You know what I'm saying? That's so where you. Like, that's <laughs> where you find out if you can really fuck with them when you come home or not. But I'ma see this. But if I can rock these motherfucking here, but I know nigga, nigga at home fuck with. Yeah, but you know, like jail music, like man, everybody got jail music. Like I don't, man, I'm talking about some fire jail rappers. Like I ain't gonna count, bro. Like, I don't heard some like magnificent ass motherfuckers in that shit, bro. Like and, like while I was locked up, like don't heard some crazy shit, bro. You feel me? Like just off of being <coughs> on the table and shit, and then just like just in there, just like rain shit, listening shit, like. Saying like like listening to other nigga feedback and getting out and trying little shit at a time, little shit at a time, and like like even to this day, like just keep trying shit, just keep saying shit, you know what I'm saying, whatever, and like just keep relating with niggas and shit, and you know. When did you have your first aha moment with the music? Like, oh shit, you know what? I might can do this shit for real. Mm. My first aha moment with that shit. Mm. It be, I don't know, like, I get, I just get, like, it be, like, a few different situations and shit, but, like, most of them be, like, <clears throat> personal, you feel me? Like, it don't be nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it be, like, a stranger telling me some shit, you feel me? Like, 
somebody who don't even know me with no bias. You feel me? Like, he ain't, a nigga, he ain't intimidating me. He ain't trying to impress me or nothing. Nigga just telling me, like, this shit hard, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can relate to this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, like that shit give me, like, I don't know. It just give me some. It, it ain't, sometimes you don't so know. So, it's just the feed that your aha moment. It ain't a single moment. It's just the feedback that you continue to get from niggas that you know had no bias toward what you got going on. They just telling you how they feel about it. And that feedback, that feedback makes start make you say, yeah, yeah, like, cause you like, know, you yeah, got, yeah. you got home, you got homeboys, like, and don't, ain't nobody gonna admit this shit, but like, man, nigga, homeboy be yes, nigga, bro, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, but that shit hard to hell, dog, that shit too hard, like, cause I be, cause, cause, like, come on, bro, like, <laughs> like, real shit, so like, and it ain't to say nothing about nothing, but like, nigga, homeboy be yes, nigga, but like, when I be hearing shit from an outside person who ain't even into that hype, like, you know what I'm saying, like, into like. What's going on right now? Somebody just tell me like, but this shit it like you know what I'm saying like this shit. They tell me this specific part touch me, and I be like, okay, all right. I know I'm supposed to be. You feel me? This what I'm supposed to be doing, but I got this. It's an art to me, bro. Like you feel me? I'm supposed to be giving folk their art. You feel me? Like that's how I look at it, honestly. You feel me? No, that's that's a, that's a good way to look at that shit. Though. That's a good way to look at it. What project you got out now? I got Big Hell Secret out. That my, I would call it that shit a mix. Hey, that shit up. Album though. EP. <laughs> How many songs on it? Fourteen songs. It's an album. Yeah. Fourteen songs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I took my time with that shit. Like, like I said, I started like taking this shit serious 2017, but like, I think my oldest song on that bit from like like two years ago. You feel me? Like, but I took my time with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that shit an album. You feel me? Like, took my time. You, as you should, dog. You know what I'm saying? As you should. I think shit's on microwave right now. It fuck it fuck up artists' interpretation of understanding when and when not to drop music because niggas feel like that they shit start getting old. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> when you really got, I'm gonna tell you one thing about music, man. When you make real music, all that shit don't get old. Shit timeless. That shit don't get old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if it take you a year or two to get down, play with it, to figure it out, then niggas got to understand, too, <clears throat> that when you're in the streets, you're not a full-time artist. So you're not going to be in the studio all the time. When you're in the streets, it goes up and down. And them down moments, nigga ain't thinking about no motherfucking music. <laughs> ain't thinking about no rap shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> At all, dog. Fuck some rap shit. Fuck some rap shit. <laughs> then, so you got that time, you got that dead that, that time. Then you finally got there and get you something going on. But then the time you start getting something going on, you really not thinking about no studio now because you're like, well, I got to run this Why shit back shit? up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I then, think. when you run this shit back up, now you so perceptive in your mind to saying that, but now nah, I gotta give me a chain now, but I gotta give me a car, boy. Yeah. I got that. Then it, it take off more time. So now it's a whole year done went by. You don't went through that shit the whole year. Nigga, they gonna record it 10 songs. Ain't, ain't went nowhere. <laughs> ain't dropped nothing. Ain't dropped shit. <laughs> ain't dropped you know shit. what I'm saying? I know. I've been there. And then and then <laughs> and then you then then you have that that over, overwhelming sense of like, fuck that shit, I'm gonna drop some music. It always be some shit you see, but like. <laughs> I'm finna got them drop this shit. You see what I'm saying? And then that be a recurring event year after year after year after year after year after year. And then you will see these niggas dropping shit and got them popping out. Then you'll be like, fuck this shit, bro. I'm taking too long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for you to be like, mentally to be like, disciplined enough mentally to be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going to take my time on my shit, doing the shit how I want to. Really put my, my mind and my energy in this shit and make, make sure I'm talking to these people I'm opposed to. No, I, I think they, they speak from, they speak volumes you as you as an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That means you really into what you do. You know what I'm saying? Cause another nigga have been like, fuck that shit. Yeah. I'm finna drop this shit. Yeah. I'm finna go to the studio in one week. <laughs> I'm, finna, <laughs> I'm finna record 12 songs. Yeah. And I'm finna drop these motherfuckers right now. Nah, yeah. I take my, like, I really take my time with that shit. Like, like that was, like, I take my shit. I take my shit real personal. I don't take a lot of shit personal, cause like that one of the things I like. I'm big on like not taking the shit, not taking shit personal. Like 
that just helped like go better for me. Like not taking shit personal stuff, but like my music though, like I be talking about personal shit on here. So like yeah. I don't like to play with like my shit, you feel me? Like so like I'ma take my time with it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? When I present it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I want any feedback, you feel me? Like just like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna connect, you feel me? Like there's some intimate shit, you feel me, like with me, you feel me? Cause like I ain't on here like doing all that got uh, lying, capping ass shit. Like I really be talking about shit I be going through, and like I know other niggas around me, like niggas in other states that do the same shit I do for me with the same shit I don't been. You gonna touch somebody? Shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like boom, this for y'all, bro. You feel me? Like this ain't for all that. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta get caught with that hype, but like the hype gonna get that though. You feel me? Not for real, not for real. That went in the pot, man, right? You gotta give me a, you gotta give me a crazy trap story. I don't give a fuck what's about Jay, nigga Kane, a finesse that you seen, something happened, they got a head buzz, nigga police, I don't, whatever it is, you give me a crazy trap story. Crazy trap story. I don't know what I can say on this one. <laughs> I don't know what I can say on this motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't gotta say no names or nothing like that. You give me a crazy. So give me a story. Any gotta be the ending gotta be a no super crazy story. Like, like, I remember like, alright, so like it ain't no story, but it was just like a, a time period, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I would like live with my dad over here, like in the vine yard on flat show, like, um, I pretty much, you know what I'm saying, like, got out of Got out of prison, like, when I was, like, first time I got out of prison, like, still a young nigga and shit. Go over here and shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to work me a little job, you know what I'm saying? Um, regular job, but staying over here in the hood with him and shit. And just, like, just seeing, like, little crazy ass shit around here and shit. Around, around in the spot and shit. You know what I'm saying? With him, because, like, my daddy, like, like, he ain't there. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he ain't really there as a person. You feel me? Like, I respect him at like my dad and shit, but he ain't really there and shit. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I was getting out, I was trying to, and I mean, I'm trying to get me a little scrap. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how old you at? How old you at? <laughs> I'm probably like 21. Oh like, yeah, 21, yeah. Like, oh, but yeah. I'm fresh out though. You yeah. feel me, type shit? I'm fresh out. Like, trying to get me a scrap. Like, so um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see my dad, like, he he well known in the little neighborhood and shit, but, like, not in the right way, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing and shit, but, like, I have my dad, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, he helped me get me a five. You feel me? Like, this a funny situation to me, because, like, he, like, a, he, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, a drug user and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got you. Like, he, he reached out to one of his folks and shit. Man, bro, them, Cajon and pull up with a big ass goddamn debt, some shit. I ain't never seen like some deep, some a desert eagle, like big chrome shit, like a play gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I grabbing the shit, you know what I'm saying? Just like on some quick ass green ass shit, grabbed it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, missing the fire pan and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like got caught. You feel me? Like, just got caught in the hood. You feel me? Shit like that. Just got. But I ain't gonna <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> what you what you say when you seen that motherfucker? Ooh, I mean, yeah, like just like, oh yeah, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm, saying? Like, I'm straight, like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get a nigga up out me with this big ass motherfucker, like at least scared nigga ass new motherfucker, like, ooh, ooh like that, like I told you, boy, I got you, boy, hell yeah, yeah, straight, like yeah. <laughs> get back to the house and shit, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker got down. I ain't even peep that shit for a minute, cause at the time I ain't even like, like Running around with no five for real, like how it is back then. So you just got, you just got that motherfucker. Yeah, hey, yeah, just to be. I'm like, man, this shit up over here, like this shit tripping over here for real. So like, I just get the shit on some. Just, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm working a little regular ass bullshit ass job and shit, fresh out and shit. So like, I I realized that shit like probably like a few weeks later, like man, this shit missing the whole fire pin, like you know what I'm saying, like and I had fake so I carrying that motherfucker around, like thinking on scrap too, like <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a trigger for like, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nay, dang it, boy. I'm out here carrying that motherfucker around, like, hell yeah, like, yeah, straight, yeah. like, no doubt. Like, but yeah, just some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Damn. You think Papa knew about it? Oh, he got for too? Nah, I don't know. I can't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a 
good one. I don't know. Nah, Pop got for that, too. I'm good. He, he got for that, too. Damn, <laughs> man. Buddy got down, so the nigga the Desert Eagle, yeah. man. <laughs> Damn, that's a hood ass shit. Now, listen. Buy some fire in the hood. Dry fire. Dry fire the shit, dog. And if you don't feel like the dry fire ain't working on something going on with the dry fire, you know what I'm saying? Then you got down. You butt that motherfucker. I mean, or don't buy the fire. Or got them get for, get for this. You got them. Explain what the dry fire is. The dry fire is. Dry fire is got them when you take the bullet, you take all the bullets out the gun. You know what I'm saying? You cock it back and you just shoot it. You know what I'm saying? You squeeze the trigger and it dry fire. You say click, pop. You know what I'm saying? The heavy got a hammer, it shoot. Or if it's a Glock, it'll click. That let you know that it's it's, it's it got penetration in the, in the barrel. You know what I'm saying? From the fire into the barrel. You see what I'm saying? If it do that nine times out of ten, it's going to shoot. You know what I'm saying? If you got them, get that motherfucker, you caught that bitch back and you squeeze that bitch, that motherfucker don't do nothing, you don't hit no clicking. Oh, man. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, say nothing about all that new song back there. I need to, that what I'm saying? That's why I need to be, need to be putting out certain shit in these songs. Like, yeah. you need to be listening to the nigga be like, that's what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know nothing about that. Like, dry fire. Like, dry fire. I'm just like, nah, I just got dry for net. Like, <laughs> nah, for real. Not nah, only in the goddamn apartment, man. Uh, anything you on working on now? Man, like right now, like I'm just like really working on like putting content. I like just showing for how serious I'm building my shit. Like I've been putting on like visuals after visuals and shit. Like I just dropped Leave It last week. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm just just trying trying to drop not just song but visuals to go with them. I got some shit right now. Uh, I'm gonna shoot out my old of my my album. They kept secret. It's a song called Judge. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna shoot that like real court how, like real. I'm gonna make that shit. Try to make that shit like a pro- big production movie type shit. You know what I'm saying? You like, should. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like going. I'm going to Judge, and I got my single Innocent. I'm gonna have that go back to that, and like I'm gonna just like try to show for like how serious I'm really is with this shit. You feel me? Like cats on eyes. You feel me? Like I really feel like I'm harder than like most of these niggas. Nine nine. Point nine percent of these niggas. Out what are you here. talking about, man? <laughs> so nah, like, for real. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, you talking about? I was there, like, so shit. It just like, I feel like, shit. I be seeing nigga pop. You feel me? Like he was just saying, like, nigga probably be sitting back looking at nigga like drop and pop like overnight or whatever. Like I be seeing that shit, and like I be, I don't be looking at like a nigga drop and pop overnight. Like nigga really be working for this shit. So like, that what I'm doing right now. Like I'm working. Shit. Like I be seeing nigga like, I watch the nigga. You feel me? Like. I walk, I walk the nigga Huncho, you feel me, like, like before my eye, I really, like, work for that shit. Like, home really ran and work for that shit, you feel me, like, from, from down here to up here, you feel me, I walk that shit my own two eyes, like, just, like, send back, you feel me, so, like, shit, that yeah, what a nigga rock. gotta do. Yeah, get shot up in that, too, shot of rock, I fuck with shot. Yeah, yeah, like, I seen that nigga came from, like, here, you feel me, like, like, no, like, regular nigga type shit, you feel me, I'm like. That shit like a motivation itself. Like you see a lot of niggas do that. You feel me? Like you see a lot of niggas in the city do that. See nigga around you do that shit. Like damn, like nigga really just from here to here, and they work for it. You feel me? Like that motivation. That shit, shit hella hell motivation. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Like that shit really is for me. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, like cause like it nigga like that. Like he 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 get out here message the folk too. Like he ain't that. Mm, bullshit like that nigga putting out, you know what I'm saying? Home really getting his shit out. It's a lot of nigga really getting that shit out. And I like listen to that shit and tune in. Like they folks out there listen to that shit and tune in. Like we were just talking about like that. Nigga be having hype behind that shit. You feel me? Like some of these niggas really ain't got no hype. They really talking about shit. They be they be having folks locked in and fucked up. Like we gotta get some more. I need some more of that shit. I gotta keep tuning in, buddy. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially when they're real, when they're really authentic, because it's more people going through real shit than it is going through this popping rich ass shit that these niggas talking about. Nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, it's so it's so easy to go in the studio and make a song, like, up, 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 up. but you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't got no substance to it. Ain't no content like, to it. it. ain't got no feeling <laughs> like, to it, no meaning to it. Like, ain't got no like, substance to it. Like, chopping and flicking ain't got no substance to it, like, but like, why? Like, other shit like what you just feel like you know what I'm saying like nigga going there and feel that shit and put their soul in that shit like you reaching you reaching out to for it for a purpose you feel me like that's just how I feel about this you know what I'm saying and and all you know what I'm saying nah for real nah for real anything you want to say to people before you get up out of here um 
y'all just fuck with me. Like, my tape, my album, Bed Kept Secret, I named it that for a real. Like I said, I took my time with that shit, but like, Bed Kept Secret, like, I really feel like on the Bed Kept Secret, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't hurt me, but I, if you tune in to me, like, you don't know why I call myself that. You feel me? Like you got hella content now. Yeah, yeah, like you got all kind of shit on YouTube now. You can like, you can, you can scroll. <laughs> down, you know, suddenly you got down. You scroll, got down. You do that right here. Yeah, then yeah, other nigga, all, all kind of other <laughs> shit start popping up. Nah, you, you got hella shit on that bit for real. Yeah, yeah, but I appreciate you having me up here, man. Oh nah, man, this ain't gonna be the last. This ain't gonna be the last time. Cause I know when you leave the motherfucker, you gonna be like, damn. I mean, I should have said something about that. Damn, I know I should have talked about that. It's gonna, so gonna be some shit gonna pop, but now nah, we're gonna do it. Now we're gonna do this again. Like I said, this conversation, it, it be for shit. Now I might want to call you. I might call you up picture and see what you think about some shit. To got them pick your mind about some shit. That this shit is to have a conversation because I think that like even the shit that we talked about today, it's gonna be somebody who's watching and it's gonna be some shit they're gonna be able to pick up. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's one thing, mm-hmm. even if it's one phrase, even if it's one word, even if it was some shit that you a way you said something. You see what I'm saying? And and I call them sparks. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it take a nigga one spark and a fucking fire. <sighs> nigga like, boy, fuck that shit. I'm, yeah. I'm finna start. Sometimes it take a few sparks. Like you, you got a few sparks. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> hey, boy, you shit hard here, bro. Got them. Hey, man, I'm telling you, boy, you got that shit. You got that bump. You know, you're like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It started your file. All these use is sparks. You see what I'm saying? Because you being the person that you is, coming from where you come from, it probably it's, it's probably over goddamn a hundred thousand niggas just like you and niggas who's feel just, everything you said nigga probably watching this shit like boy that nigga sound just like me boy hey bro what what that, what that nigga be saying what I be saying boy nigga said the same thing I be saying it's gonna be like that and then nigga gonna start listening to your music and they gonna type in their YouTube nigga gonna be like why well, fuck with y'all you know what I'm saying then he gonna tell another nigga then he gonna tell another nigga the biggest thing in word of mouth you see what I'm saying it's a lot of niggas who listen to a lot of real niggas but. They don't got Apple, because they don't know how to do all that shit. And they ain't got no bitch who know how to do that shit. And they mama's a hood, hood, or they mama old, and they don't know nothing about that shit. You know, I, know, I know a whole bunch of hood niggas who, who, who got Instagrams and shit, but they don't even work it. They just be looking at shit. Nobody know about that. They just be on there and look. <laughs> well, well, I got them seen this shit. Yeah. Like, your Instagram, what? Hell, what your name is? Go on that motherfucker, they got 76 followers. Yeah. <laughs> My nigga ain't put a picture up since 2019, yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But the niggas be in tune though. But them be the niggas who be in the streets. Them be the niggas who be talking about. Them niggas be them niggas be on the block. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The niggas who be tuning in. I ain't gonna say they don't be locked in, but it's a lot of people who tune in just because somebody else tuned in. It's just because somebody else said something. They don't really be locked in. Nah. You see what so, I'm saying? Yeah. So when you do it like the way you're doing it organically, that's how you build more muscle. You know what I'm saying? You can get on the creatine, you can swell up real fast. Mm-hmm. But if you don't keep that shit up. She gonna go away. Go away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you got them. You still don't got them. Push up. Don't sit up. Motherfucking squat. But your ass gonna got them. Yeah, you gonna be cut up. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck if you don't do no put up, sit on squat for a little bit. It's gonna take you a little bit to got them. Got them for your shape, for your body to break. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so long as niggas just stay consistent in what you're doing. The grand away. Nah, that shit gonna be a dog. Like I say, real nigga music coming back. Nerd is the new gangster, and real niggas is the saviors. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. It's what it is because all these fuck niggas, these fuck niggas is turning real niggas fast. <laughs> oh yeah, he oh he a real. Off of influence, bro. Whoa, what's about fast? <laughs> off of it, cause off of influence, bro. Like it, off of influence, like. Hey, so but fuck around, tell you, nigga, I'm the spread. Fuck these nigga, I ain't man, take no money. Got that let nigga come say, I got that bad for you, nigga. Oh, shit, bro, I was saying got that bad, huh, bro. But then you just say you want to fuck with your nigga though. Every all the time. But shit, but but shit, but nigga ain't did nothing to me though. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Nigga came with shit. I, I shit. Y'all nigga don't do shit. The nigga, the nigga start trying to figure out ways to yeah, goddamn justify yeah, nigga, what a nigga, nigga doing and shit. Making reason to do sucker shit, bro. Like, Fat. <laughs> nigga, nigga be justifying sucker shit, bro. Like, Fat. Nah, for real, for I real. I let a nigga do it though. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I let a nigga live how he want to live. Cause like, Facts. but like, I be waking up in the morning walking. In my bathroom, look in the mirror, like, I'm, I be waking up every day, like, I'm glad. Oh, God, I'm glad I ain't, like, none of these other niggas out here, bro. Like, none of these other, these, it's some whole ass niggas out here, bro. And I be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so happy I ain't like these niggas, bro. Because niggas be doing some whole ass shit, niggas be going out bad, like, doing shit that just compromise their integrity. You feel me? Like, 
Half these niggas really don't care. Half these niggas lie to themselves so much that they make the lie the truth. A lot of these niggas don't want to realize and accept real life perception. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas want to be what they ain't work for. You know what I'm saying? They just want to be it because in their mind they think they it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to be bosses because in their mind they think they bosses. But soon to come down to a decision that's going to affect the niggas around you emotionally, you don't want to make no decision. You want to be like, I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. <laughs> Y'all niggas handle that shit. Yeah. Nah, that ain't gonna happen when you're a boss. When you're a boss, you like, nigga, you sit the fuck down because you dead ass fucking wrong. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck how you feel. You ain't got to fuck with us no more. But this nigga, this is righteous, nigga. And you, the shit you did ain't right, nigga. What that word you just said? Righteous? Bro, nigga ain't righteous. You feel me? Like, nigga ain't righteous. You feel me? Like, like, at the end of the day, you feel me? Like, a nigga don't move with, like, a nigga don't step, like, in the name of God, for real. Like, with, yeah, for with real. righteousness. Not on no religious shit, but like niggas. Just on some righteous shit. Just on like niggas. The, the difference between right, right and fucking wrong. Yeah, niggas, no difference know, between fucking right, right and wrong. Yeah, you, you don't gotta <laughs> justify right and wrong, nigga. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You see what I'm saying? If it's wrong, it's wrong. You see what I'm saying? And to each his own decides what is right and what is wrong. I can't tell you what's right. I can't tell you what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? No, I can tell you how I feel about something and my and the way I understand it. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I feel like this, this, this. And you'd be like, Pale, I agree with you, or Pale, I don't agree with you. So I'ma still do this right here. And it can't let that shit have to be respected. You see what I'm saying? And if you can't call along and be copacetic with somebody like that, then y'all gotta go y'all separate ways. That don't mean you gotta hate a nigga, that don't mean you can't still fuck with a nigga from this and say what's up. Nah. That shit mean that y'all can't y'all ain't gonna be It ain't like that though, bro. You know like me thinking like how, if you ain't think if, if you ain't think like how this nigga thinking it is like it's automatic up like you know what I'm saying like he ain't, if you yeah, ain't, ain't, ain't doing what exactly what I'm doing think what exactly what I'm thinking like it's up like I ain't fucking with you like you you are up I ain't fucking with you like that's just how that shit is but that's why a lot of these niggas short mind that's why a lot of these niggas don't go far that's why a lot of these niggas ain't gonna go far that's why these niggas fucked up mentally you know what I'm saying my a one day one all this shit shit. But A1 day ones fuck over A1 day ones more than anything in the world. Outside niggas help niggas more than they A1 day ones. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> no, <laughs> most of the time. Ain't no fuck all the time. Most of the damn time. Yeah, every time. If that ain't the case, <laughs> it'll be so many strong crews, and it won't be so many niggas bouncing from hood to hood to hood to hood to hood. All the hoods will be strong still. Yeah. Niggas will still be sound from Elay Meadow. Even though Elake ain't up, they'll still be on Second Avenue and Gresham, right? They'll still be all right there, and they'll still be saying with Elake Meadow. If it, if if it, if outside niggas they never influence in the uh, hoods and shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a few niggas, they small crews. You see what I'm saying? Because niggas don't really understand the loyalty shit. You know what I'm saying? And niggas really can. Niggas, the reason niggas can't understand the loyalty part because niggas can't understand the righteous part. You see what I'm saying? Me being righteous. Within myself, I have to tell you how I feel, regardless if you like this shit or not. Especially if I fuck with you. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I yeah, owe yeah. it to you if I fuck with you. Yeah. If I don't fuck with you, I don't owe it to you. Tell you how I feel. I don't give a fuck how you how, how you think I feel. I don't gotta tell you. But niggas got to flip flop. Niggas quit to tell us somebody else they don't know how they feel about us some and what they doing wrong and how this how they. But that's some whole ass shit you did, bro. You got done. You put talking to that bitch, but your partner can do a situation. Same situation, but you would tell that, oh, no, nah, man, that bitch, man, she into it, everybody, man, it's the bitch. It ain't your nigga now. You see what I'm saying? It flip flop. You supposed to tell your nigga when you, hey, bro, you dead ass wrong. No, nah, I'll talk for real, though. But you dead ass wrong. I fuck with you, but you dead ass wrong. It don't be no, like, no, like, it don't be no, like, no mutual straightening. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it, like, like I say, like, you go again, like, what your boy talking about, you feel me? Like, it, like, shit, you wrong. You're, you're out, yeah, you're out now. Yeah, yeah. Like, now, nah, fuck your fuck that nigga, you bro. Go the move. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go at you gotta go at the move. Like even, no matter how fucked up the shit, you gotta go at the move or you are up. You feel me? Like it's up with you. You feel me? Like that's just how that shit is. It ain't like that with me. Cause like I honestly real nigga shit. Like I respect the nigga mind. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you feel me? Like if a nigga wanna like no matter what a nigga wanna do, why don't you wanna do no police shit or no rat shit? Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like no gay shit. Like I'm straight. You feel me? Like, I don't care what you do. You feel me? Like, keep my name out of everything. You scrap. I don't care what a nigga do, bro. Like, it's on you, bro. I ain't got no fat. I don't give a damn. But probably, man, you know her that got that nigga doing that, didn't it? I don't care, bro. 
Oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, I don't be feeding into it. I can't, like, I ain't, I, I can't, like, I be feeling like, I be feeling like a whole feeding into certain shit, like, no one ain't probably feeding into shit. Like, it's female tendencies. Yeah, like, I ain't probably feeding into shit, no yeah. shit like that. And the ones who and the ones who can't identify their female tendencies makes it a big problem. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing some shit, if you if you look at somebody and say they doing something wrong, and you done did some shit like that, or you got a homie who you say you fuck with and he does some shit like that, mm -hmm. you ain't saying nothing, <laughs> you part of the problem, dog. You feel me like, you hear me? Exactly. Like, there's that shit like, like, so like a lot of, I think like, I think like a nigga don't be knowing how to address shit. Like, like you either got like real strong guy nigga like they gonna come out like real aggressive like addressing shit to where it be like smoke all top. Then you got niggas who ain't gonna say nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? But they got undercover pressure and shit. You feel me? Like, so like I think it be like to where a nigga don't really be like knowing how to address it. And then when they finally do get there to when it's addressed, like it ain't been addressed like on no real nigga shit. Like it been addressed like on some. Under like under the rug ass shit like people talking that shit from you know what I'm saying shit like niggas that. don't be real they self child yeah. niggas don't be real they self how you gonna tell another nigga some real shit when you don't tell yourself real shit yeah. that be the problem with yeah. that that be the that be the main problem with the shit <laughs> I'm just being honest nah for sure you know what I'm saying how you gonna tell a nigga some real shit if you can't tell yourself some real shit you know what I'm saying if you ain't practicing what you preach like you just said you're a fucking hypocrite nigga that's the part that niggas don't understand. Niggas always saying, you, 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 what you did, bro? What you doing? What you doing? Make yourself better. How you wake up today saying, what you going to do? What your mindset is, nigga? What you going to do? You always late? Oh, so you going to be on time today? Oh, you working on being on time today? Oh, no, you working on making you going to save some money? Oh, you working on watching your mouth today? Oh, you going to watch how you talk to females? Oh, you going to do something good today? Niggas ain't waking up trying to make themselves better. Nah, nah. Nah, you see what I'm saying? Nah, for real. But a nigga tell a nigga what he need yeah. to do. Bro, you tripping, bro. You need to get your ass up, bro. You ain't getting no money. Goddamn, you ain't getting no... Or like the little shit, the little booster thing I've been seeing going around. But you got to get up early in the morning. You ain't getting no early. You ain't getting no money. Everybody want to post the shit. Yeah. But he be the same nigga that wake up to 12, 1 o'clock. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But they be the same nigga, like I said, who don't take that same reflection, who don't spit shit out, and then, and then got them eat it, swallow it. Just it just, like, it just okay. sound good, look good, like. It's a it's a goddamn mask like it would a nigga pole to be saying nigga pole to be doing you feel me like and they always either said and done so like a nigga gonna like a fuck nigga gonna come out like that anyway like yeah yeah bro like hustle 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 you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah. real nigga real nigga real nigga real nigga but like be a whole nigga at the end of the day like just be doing lame shit at the end of the day you feel me like that just like a nigga gonna put that mask on like cause that way people people attracted to the real you feel me like. People attracted to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really attracted to no lame ass shit for real. Uh -huh. People attracted to that shit, but like when shit gets so goddamn so big and shit and so hyped up, it like shit, like it's perception of real. You know what I'm saying? But so, niggas good at acting. <laughs> niggas good at acting. You better figure out a way to tell if a nigga acting or not. <laughs> you talking about yeah. man, tell everybody where they can follow you at, dog. Uh, follow me at Instagram underscore champ one K. Um like I said, download my um, mid tape album, Bed Kept Secret. Um, go download my boy R5, man. He just dropped, man. Long live my boy R5, man. Everything for Sosa 800 block, man. What about your YouTube? Uh, my YouTube, Chant 1K, just type me in Chant 1K, one word. Chant 1K, one word, just type me in and pray in them. You know what I'm saying? Listen to all that shit. You feel me? Like, listen to everything. I hear you talking about, man. So the moral of the story is, man. If you're going to say real shit, stand on real shit. That means be about the same shit that you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what you do, always fucking win and be 1,000. Appreciate it, uh, yeah, Chuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take your time out, dog. That being said, man, it's your boy Parlay, live from Digi House Studios. And we in the apartment with Parlay. Meet me in the apartment.